Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our beginner's guide to Bellatro, shall we? Well, we won our first run, and we lost our second. But, as I always think of it, you learn more from your losses sometimes than you do from your victories. Everything went great the first run, and the second run was going okay, but we just didn't scale up quite enough at the end of the run, in the last second to last ante to clear. And there were a variety of reasons for that, but some of the focus, I thought, was on our jokers and perhaps even on the way that we were trying to build our deck uh, for a flush. So I think we can take that knowledge and begin another run. And the final piece of the puzzle I want to talk about is the deck we were using. So it's important what deck you use, and you get to kind of choose. Now there is an achievement for beating each difficulty, or at least the first difficulty, with the different decks. So you want to do this to unlock more stuff, for example. But you see how we had the magic deck? And we could have leaned into this a little bit more by trying to get take advantage of having three slots for cards that are consumable um but we did that a fair bit and maybe it's just a case that it didn't work out for us or maybe this just isn't one of the stronger decks that's also a possibility we'll come back to that deck at some point perhaps but let's play the blue deck i think this is a very beginner friendly deck because it gives you an extra hand now as you get better at the game you might need less hands to win so you're like well what is this going to do for me well first of all you need to beat white stake difficulty with the blue deck uh, to unlock stuff but second of all the nice kind of thing that you might not notice about the blue deck is you get one extra buck for every hand remaining when you clear a blind and so if you have one extra hand um, then what this means is that you get one extra dollar if you don't use it so this could slowly generate money for us as well. Like, for example, I think in our first victory, we had over 20 rounds, which means that just having this would give us an extra 20 bucks. Now, that's throughout the course of the whole run, but still. So let's go ahead and use the blue deck and see what we could do. You see right here, we got five hands. How about that? So if we fight... Um, we get to re-roll the boss blind. Now, all the boss blind right now is doing to us right now um, is saying that clubs are debuffed. So that's no problem. Let's just go ahead and go right into the small blind. Okay. So let's we're ranking by uh, rank here, and if we sort them by suit, we don't have a flush or anything like that. We do have. Nothing great straight-wise, three to a straight. That's not really that exciting. But we do have two pair right on the board here. And I think early, like, there's nothing wrong with just throwing out some cards. And in this situation, I'll get rid of my two because it's not very good. We've got hands. We can just throw out two pair and uh, we get a nice 92 bucks. Now, you can, of course if you really want, try to lean in and discard to get that extra buck, which is valuable. So we are four to a heart flush, and we also have the makings of a straight right here. So I definitely want to get rid of these cards and uh, discard. Doesn't cost us anything to discard, and now we got that flush. So we're going to go ahead and just do this, and we'll win right here. Actually, we might not. No, oh, there we go. Yeah. And once we add the chip value of the cards, we're good. Okay. So, now you might say, well, you wasted that first hand taking two pair. You should have tried to get a full full house. And that's obviously, yeah, you could have done that. Um, and it, maybe it cost us a dollar, but because we had the blue deck, we made that up anyway. So, it's nice as a beginner because you get a little bit of extra runway. So, you can make, you can splash around a little bit like that, play a hand like that. And it doesn't hurt you. All right, we got ten bucks. What do we want? Um, this gives you malt when you play even cards, okay? And this gives you. Um... Oh, this is a fun one because this is basically like 
if you can thin your deck by reducing the amount of cards you have, you get extra mult. This would be cool, but finding means to discard, like permanently delete cards for your deck is not as easy um, as you'd like it to be. Like for example, at Sway the Spire, there's always an option at the shop to, to crush a card, to kill a card. Um, that isn't the case. You have to get something, um, a tarot card or there's other stuff, but it's not that easy. This is fun. We have a lot of even cards. In fact, if you look, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, those are the evens. It doesn't go up into the face cards, and ace counts as a 1, so it's odd. But that's a lot. I think this is pretty strong for us. Just to give us an edge right away. And then, what we can do is, um, do we want a tarot card, or do we want a standard pack? And we could collect interest, but I'm going to go right into a standard pack. Why am I doing this? Because if we um, get even cards, we can trigger this. And then if we get treatments on the cards, like this is a steel card, we can now have some versatility. We can use this to get an extra times 1.5 malt. Or we could throw it in for a plus 4 malt if we wanted. In either case... This is stronger uh, than the two for us because it's a higher card, it's worth more chips, and I'm going to take it. Great. So we got another even card to help us here, and we got a steel card just to help us overall. And we're going to go to the next round. Okay, so if we skip, the shop will have an uncommon joker. Now this is good, theoretically, but you don't know what you're going to get. We don't have enough money currently to buy one, so we're just going to go for it fight the blind look at this right away we get this okay so tens are even um what do we want to do here we got three clubs you know what I'm going to ditch everything except the clubs. And uh, we did get a club flush, but we also got four of a kind. So, four of a kind, if you look at run info, um, is 60 times 7. And that's not even including the fact that we're going to get this. So, this is insane. Let's do it. It's funny. And we'll play this four just to get rid of it. So, because we discarded right there, we get an extra buck. And we're going to get $4 right here. So, we get $8. Okay. So, the voucher is for more tarot cards, which, eh. Um, this would have been good last run for us with our magic deck. Nice combo. And this allows us to duplicate. And this is Spectral. You know, I feel like we didn't get any Spectral packs last game. So what you could do right away is just say, I'm leaning into this. This is a nice thing to discover early. However, um, it is worth mentioning, I can't buy this and this. I could buy this and this, but it doesn't... It doesn't really work. This is nice early, but it's plus malt and not um, times malt. So I'm not going to um, throw in on that right now. Uh, but I'm going to actually buy this and just show off a spectral pack. So a spectral pack lets us do the grim. So here's another option like what we saw before. This allows you to destroy a card. Um, which is good. And then this one says converts all cards in a hand to a single random rank. Minus one hand size. Um, so, this is insane. Um, so the Ouija board is letting us take all of these 
and we'll make them all one rank. Now, what this means is they'll make them all fours, for example. Now, if we got even, it would trigger with this and be incredible. Um, it does give us minus one hand size, so we get to draw less cards for the rest of the run, which is, you know, not great. But the advantage of um, having eight cards become one is pretty strong. Now, sevens are already here, so there is a little bit of reverse synergy in that sense. But um, I like this because we can it can really help right early in the run shape our identity. And what do I mean by that? Like, in roguelikes, deck building roguelikes, you want some kind of defining anchors for your deck. And if we do this, we're not going flush necessarily anymore because now we have like, you know, eight eights plus the other eights out there. So we have like 10 eights. Instead, we're going to be going three of a kind, four of a kind, five of a kind, and we lean into planets and other things that trigger off of those kinds of combinations. And it gives us like a purpose. We can build toward that instead of maybe another argument for our loss last time was that we were a little all over the place. We had two plans, but, um, or you could even argue we didn't lean, uh, well, it's the same argument, heavily enough into flush. So either way, this is a huge effect. It's got a downside. But I think we can handle it. This one, like, kill a random card and add two random enhanced aces. This is good. It doesn't work with this, but aces are so good it doesn't necessarily matter. But I'm going to try this. So let's see what we get. So, okay. We did not get an even to go with our even Steven. But now look at our deck. We have <laughs> 11 queens, okay? So the even Steven, like... This was either a 4 or $6 joker. You're not committed to this for the rest of your, the game. Like, if we want to get out of this, we can just sell it, get some money back, and change our plan. This is nice, but it's not going to be as um, defining as now that we have all these queens. And look at this. In this case, too, like, the suit distribution, I mean... Look at our diamonds. We just have four queens of diamonds, for example. It's so interesting. Okay, so in this case, I'm he I'm ready to go. Let's go. Next round. We can collect interest, and clubs are debuffed. All right, let's pay attention to that. But we will be able to get through this easily um, right here. Look at this. We just have a diamond flush on the first hand. and we win in one. So we're going to get plus one money because of our blue deck with the extra hand, plus one interest, and um, we cleared it right there. All right. So now we're cashing out really nicely for $10. I love it. And let's see what we've got. Okay, this says planet cards appear two times more frequently in the shop. So this would be like, do you want this to happen? Do you want to see planet cards up here? They do take the place of a joker, but planet cards are the ones that let you level up your hands. And this is actually going to be something that we want to really focus on with this deck because of all the queens that we have. We want um, three of a kind. We want, you know, full house, four of a kind. Um, oh, you can't even level up five of a kind. Like, that's not even a possibility that I see here. So um, fair enough. Okay, um, let's see. This is very good for us. We won't be playing this, so we're not going to buy this. And it's a shame to see this one again. They really want to give us that. Um, but you know what? I'm going to buy this. We're going to hope for a queen, but we'll take an even card. Um, this is terrific. So this one right here... Um, is just going to give us planets, it's also even. Like an ace is cool, a 10 is good, but we already have the extra six anyway. So we're gonna select this. And we're gonna go to the next round to, to collect two interest. Um, we can skip this to have plus three hand size and then um, skip to get two and then go right into the boss. There's nothing wrong with that, except if we do that, we'd lose the opportunity to collect interest and to collect the money from our extra hand. So I actually like getting, I do the blinds a lot. I don't skip unless it really blows me away because I like the opportunity to uh, play. 
you remember we had that joker that triggered off of how many times you play a hand that's in play um, we have the blue seal that we want to activate in combat we get interest we get money from the hand so i don't skip that much look at that three queens right there so uh i'm gonna actually kick back all of those just keep our queens see if we can yep get four queens and then we can keep this behind right here and we will win now you could you know keep discarding and, and see if you can get that blue seal if you really want but let's just go ahead and do this and get a bunch of cash Nine bucks on the small blind. Very good. Early. Okay. So we've got the... Um... Whoa. This could be interesting for us. We could intentionally discard all of our queens every once in a while to just get five bucks. If we do it once, we get the money back from this joker and we could stockpile cash. I actually like this really early. Early in the run, you wanna to try to make money. And then obviously when we get later into the final antes, you're really trying to solidify your joker situation to get as many chips as you can. This one is a plus malt that's random. So I like this one, it can't go negative. So you, the worst you're getting is zero, but most of the time you're just adding to the multiplier. So this is better, it's way better than nothing. Um, I'm actually going to just buy both of these. And I'm going to keep this for double interest. Do I want a tarot card or a planet card? Not really. Let's go. Okay. So we just need to get 1,200. And we're going to do that. Now, I could s skip. But we're, of course, trying to do this as many times as we can. Okay, so this, by the way, um, it's any face cards. So it doesn't have to be queens. We, you know, if we want to keep our queens, for example. So in this situation, I'm going to just get these kings out of here. I'm going to get one queen out of here. And I'm going to get rid of this two. And this ace. Like, why would I discard an ace? Uh, even Steven. So we just get five bucks right there. By the way, I think it's worth mentioning, some of these jokers only trigger once per round. This thing, you could just keep rolling this. Like, we could do this, you know, three or four times in one round and just make so much cash. All right, so now we have four to a flush, but we also have three tens, which uh, these are even. So I'm just going to play this, and I'm going to get rid of these cards. This will not win unless this goes off. Actually, uh, it's going to be close. Yep, okay. It gave us 22. So this is called the Misprint Joker, and it gives you random. So we ended up winning. And as we mentioned before, these cards that give you money in the run... This counts toward the interest, so we actually collected three interest, and so we get 11 bucks plus the five that we made, so we're up to 27. Okay, what do we got? Um, if the first hand of a round has only one card, add a permanent copy to the deck and draw it to hand. Oh, this is so sick. Okay, so this one is holographic treatment, so it gives us plus 10 mult, which is already good, but consider we don't have all of our jokers right now but it also allows us to just play a queen as a high card and then we do lose a hand which is a dollar but then we get another queen so we can just like get so many queens that it's ridiculous so this will help shape our deck i'm gonna buy it right away and then this one says 
Um, we've played with this before. Uh, it's good, but it's not... We have twos, so it's not, like, the best possible. Um, I think it's worth buying a Celestial pack. We're going to start splashing around money, by the way. And this is two pair, full house, flush. So we're going to do things like um, full house. We want the biggest value from matching cards that we can. Not matching suit like flush, but matching cards because we're going to have so many queens. So three of a kind should be easy for us. Uh, two pair is just not valuable enough. It's okay, but if I had two pair, like I'd discard to try and get a full house, for example. So we're going to go... This would be if we want to choose one of two jokers. You can get really lucky in a situation. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to get lucky. We can just sell the Joker, even if it's terrible. So this is um, good for clubs. And this is good for tens and fours. And this actually has synergy with um, even Steven, which is kind of cool. So I'll take this one, even though clubs is um, arguably more impactful because... Uh, if we look at our deck, we have 14 clubs, for example. We have, you know, but uh, we have. I don't plan on keeping this forever. And we do have the tens and we kind of want to play full houses and stuff. So I'll take this. This is fine. And then now we'll go next round. Now I, I've spent a bunch of money, um, but let's go. So the first hand is drawn face down. So this is no problem. Let's go. So what we can do is um, we're just going to sort it by suit and then sort it by rank. I'm going to play the highest card I have. Um, oh, I, it, it's unfortunate. I can only do it this round. So we might get an ace or a king. Who knows what our highest card is. Uh, but either way, I'm fine duplicating it. Oh, we got lucked out. We got a queen. How about that? Okay. So now... Um, I'm just going to get rid of the bottom cards here. I can't play without seeing my cards. Um, there we go. All right, so this is a queen as well. And if we hold this, we get a free planet card, which is sweet. So I'm going to play um, four of a kind queens, get rid of this seven. And we win. Just like that. Free planet card. This is two pair. Ah, eh. I'm not going to sell it. I'll play it just in case, but... Not my favorite. Now, I missed the opportunity. I, I should have uh, discarded the face cards there. But it was a weird one because... Uh, it was a boss. I wanted to win. And there was, like, I couldn't see the cards. So, this is this will be fine. Um... All right, so let's just go ahead and use this. Level up two pair. This is enhances two cards to multi-cards. We're taking this for sure. Um, we don't really need that. This says celestial packs always contain the planet from your most played poker hand. So this is pretty good. If, what's our most played hand? Um, it's actually four of a kind, which is like... Think about how few times that would ever happen, but that's where we're at. Um, I'm going to spend all of our money right now. I'm going to buy this. And this is, like, extremely reckless to just buy everything, but we can make money pretty easily. And I'm going to buy this. And I'm going to level up four of a kind. Right here. Mars. Because we have so many queens, and we can get more queens with this, 
that four of a kind should be easy for us. So here we go. This is um, the next base edition shop. Joker becomes holographic. This is nice, but we need to start discarding cards for money. And we're going to play this right here. Uh, it was the Queen of Spades again. So we play this, we get an extra queen. It actually scores pretty well with all the stuff that we have. But anyway, um, now we're going to um, discard three face cards just to get five bucks. We can't do it again, sadly. We're going to discard all of this. Okay. Um, I'm going to use this on these two cards and make them multi-cards. Now, this is reckless. I'm going to make five bucks right here. Okay. So now we have to start playing stuff. Everything that we get, we have to play. But we can discard while we do that. So do I want a planet card? Maybe. Sure. I think this time I can't get it. I'd rather have the malt to guarantee that we win. And I'm just going to get rid of uh, these cards. So we'll have a pair of sixes. Okay. pair of queens, pair of sixes. We already leveled this up. Do that. Let's play a full house. This will get us through. And, um, I was, like, ultra, ultra greedy right there, but we were able to complete the mission. What's the mission? Duplicate cards with DNA, and then make a bunch of cash with this. We ended up making 10, which turned into 12 because of the interest, and we cash out. We're back up to 17 bucks. So what do we want? All right. Um, Okay. This is good if we are going all in on four of a kind. And this is good for that too. I'll open this. We'll go in on four of a kind. Four of a kind is one of those things that's like the multiplier is already so insane on it. Um, this allows us to turn a card into a steel card. This is good. Um, this is probably better than this. We're going to get rid of this at some point. No problem. The ordering of the jokers doesn't matter too much right now. Um, I'm going to save my money. I'm not like th blown away with any of this. Uh, we're just going to fight so that we can make more money. Okay. So, uh, first thing we do is duplicate this. Got another queen. And we discard this. Okay. 
Um, I'll play three of a kind. Not too worried about it. Okay. This is called greed. Okay, and we get a full house here. Now I could just play two pair and try to go off into the sunset if I want to save this planet card. Um, but I think this is fine. I'm not really, like, trying to lean into the planet card as much as I perhaps should right there, but I don't want to risk it. We're down to two hands. I get an extra couple of bucks. We're almost at max interest right here. So now um, I'm just really focusing on discarding. And this says it's a little late for me to want to get this. Uh, actually, you know, this is good for us because of this, because I'm playing this every time now. So, um, I'll buy and use that, sure. And then, uh, we definitely want this so that we can keep going with four of kind. And mind this. This is just splashing, but I want some good stuff. Okay, so what do we get? Um, add a polychrome to a random joker and destroy all others. No thanks. Destroy five random cards. No thanks. Um, destroy one random card. Add three enhanced face cards. Could be good. Create two copies of one selected card in your hand. Now that's what I'm talking about. This. With this. Yes. And then um, I will do this. I don't want to destroy my jokers. I could skip, um, but this one seems good. Yes, we got a... Yes, look at that. We got another queen. So good. And plus, we want face cards for this. So we're going to go now to the next round. And all face cards are drawn face down. So this is fine. All face cards drawn face down. Now, this one says... Um, I don't know what we're going to get right here. Uh, this could be a king, or it could be a queen, or a jack, I guess. Um, I'm going to play it. Yes, we got lucky. Another queen of diamonds. Jackpot. So we know that Um, I'm going to discard all of that, actually. Okay, and sort me by rank. So the fact that this is sorting by rank tells you... Well, it doesn't really tell you much, does it? Okay. Oof, diabolical. Only a pair. I thought I would at least get three of a kind right there. This is still good for us, though. This is really challenging. Okay. I don't know why I'm not drawing more... Um, queens. Like, the fact that I keep getting these jacks... I only have four jacks in the whole deck. We still won, but 
That wasn't that was a scary one. Actually, we have five jacks because we got an extra one. I didn't want to do anything extra with earning money. I just wanted to get out of that alive because it was so awkward. I couldn't really afford to be too fancy right there. Um, all right, so. All right, we definitely want the Mega Standard Pack. We're going to open it. So we get to choose two. This is a shame, um, but we'll take the jacks because uh, of this, and why not? I mean, like, we could get four of a kind with this. We don't have to get queens. We wanted them. This is uh, triggers again, and this is wild, which is cool. Yes, this is a six, which... Um, uh, we do have... Actually, this isn't bad. This is actually pretty good, too, but... Um, no, the steel cards are very, very nice. So I t I'll take this one, and I'll take this one. And then we'll buy this just to guarantee get the four of a kind. Just keep going with this. We're going to make four of a kind so high that we just need to spike it once, basically, and we will win so that we have that to lean on. And next round with 14 bucks. Okay. So now we're at um, the first three antis are cleared. Uh, we've got a pretty good selection here, but we're going to kick out some of these jokers that aren't doing much work for us. And we're going to keep on with our mission, which is trying to get more queens. We have 18 of them, but we want to get even more. We want to thin out the rest of the stuff and just keep going queen, 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 and trying to lean into that uh, as well as we can. And we're going to use cash to supplement that strategy. This says base chips and malt are halved. Um, that's ugly for trying to win but even so if we get four of a kind um and you even if you put this in half it's pretty gross <laughs> excuse me so that's where we're at everyone i hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun i hope you're enjoying Bellatro. and if you have any questions please post those in the comments below thanks for watching take care